Oya swear before the shrine of Odua if all the information you said you give about Queen Naomi is true. Swear before the shrine of Odua. KBAC allegedly drag Auntie Ibi to the shrine to swear an oath. My people, I am here again. Another story, it don't land. I've always tell you, I dig all the stories. I make sure I drop cheese for you. Yes, so, welcome to my channel. It is your girl, Live Cheese Plus. I am here again with hot and spicy news from the palace of KBAC. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. And to my returning subscribers, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Now, the rumor we are hearing. You know, all this while, we have been hearing about how Auntie Igbi has been uh, shouting and threatening that that business, she's going to she's going to stop that business contract that she cannot be there and when naomi will go all the way to usa brought home a business contract through infidelity she started accusing queen naomi and dr lizzie that they went there and slept with any man just to get the contract my people i don't know where this is coming from i don't even know why she will open her mouth to say that this is so irritating in the ear to hear because we know Queen Naomi can never do that. But I don't know why she decided to come up with that without any evidence, without any proof. She's now saying that that business is not going to hold. She knows she, she has her own plans, of which we, are, we know that those plans is going to fail. At the church, as we heard, that uh, one brother somewhere opened up to KBAC that Igbi is going to strike. So, the rumor we heard about one brother Samuel from Queen Naomi's church who already told KBAC that Ibi is planning to strike. That Ibi is trying to take some pounds and dollars off his hand. That Ibi is planning to take away a lot of things from his hand, a lot of good, good luck sham that Queen Naomi brought to him. You know. So, they said this thing is becoming too much that Igbi was now becoming so terrible, so terrible with all she says, all she laments every time she be lamenting to the extent that the rumor now spread among the Oloris. They were now like, ah, oh, is it the Queen Naomi that uh, KBAC is uh, praising that she's a, she's a saint, she's this one. Oh, she's the one that even went to California and brought home a man and KBAC, brainwashed KBAC and they invested just like that. That which man will just come all the way from US and come and invest in KBAC's business or invest in Queen Naomi just without anything that is not possible. So as rumor was now spreading among the Oloris, which will eventually be spreading outside because this woman, that is the kind of rumor they wanted to spread because they do not like Queen Naomi. So anything that wants to tarnish the image of Queen Naomi, that is what they will do. So they said KBAC invited Antigua. I invited her to the palace. She came because she would, she's thinking, oh, that her plan is going to work. Finally, she will have the opportunity to uh, open up to KBAC and explain all her nonsense that she's vomiting to KBAC, my people. They said when Ibi came, she met an, a priest there, a diviner, who was there. So KBAC dragged her threat to the shrine inside the KBAC's kingdom, inside the palace. Because we heard there is a shrine inside the palace too. It's the mini shrine. They said KBAC didn't want to. KBAC said he would have brought out her, his royal sword. But that one would be too dangerous to do for Queen, uh, for Antigua. So KBAC now drag her to that mini shrine and tell her to swear before this Odua that all the information she's giving against Queen Naomi is true, my people. Hey, they say no be smarting. That Igbi was shocked because she never saw it coming. Kabiesi said, yes, I heard all you said about Queen Naomi. And it is possible, it could be possible that anyone could go there, have anything to do with any man just to bring and, and bring a, a business contract. Yes, it is not easy. I agree with you. It is not easy to just get a business contract like that as a woman without having anything or plan to have anything to do with the man. Now I want you to
prove to us that what you said is true drop your drop your allegations and swear before this odua this uh, uh, shrine of odua that all you said is true they said it be remained silent and couldn't talk again kbs repeated again over and over again like three times they said Ibi could not utter a word yes because anything she tried to say at that shrine hey <laughs> will be used against her they said she did not even open her mouth all those lamentations all those things she was saying blah 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 all of them she couldn't open mouth to say anything she dare not she knows she dare not open mouth before that shrine to say anything because whatever she used you know when lawyers come uh, they, when police people come to arrest us uh, to arrest someone in nigeria movie they will say you ha you remain silent because anything you say will be used against you in the court of law so that is what Ibi did she remained silent because whatever she dropped there will be used against her and when the gods strike her she will not like as it's going to end so my wonderful people i'm now asking what we now what is the problem of Ibi? That she will, you know, when she was saying all those things, some people who doesn't know when Naomi would say, Ah, is it this woman that uh, this woman is this EB is talking with uh, with uh, enough uh, confidence? Yes, because there's a way somebody will be saying something, you will be saying, Oh, maybe this person has an evidence that this person is talking with evidence. A lot of people will hear who would hear that will now say, Oh, it could be true. People who don't know because a lot of people don't know the kind of person when Naomi is. So they can easily believe this story. So I think uh, Antibi has dented Queen Naomi's name enough for KBAC to have called her to come and explain before the Shrine of Odua that all you say is true. Just say, all I say about Queen Naomi is true. So if I am bearing a false witness against Queen Naomi that the Odua should do me whatever that pleases him it's as simple as that but they said auntie B couldn't even open her mouth to say anything then what is your problem woman why are you now tarnishing the image of an innocent woman when will all these things stop so my people so they said kbsc left her to go and when i heard it i was angry in my mind i said why would kbsc leave this woman to go after all she did that it to me personally if all this information are true, they should just hold her, tie her, because it seems she's running mad now. It seems her, her senses are not complete, because, uh, I don't know, they should just tie her, put her in the palace, in the palace, uh, palace uh, cell, let her remain there, at least let her brain reset. Or what do you think, my people, should be done to this woman? Because KBAC is just, they say KBAC is silent, KBAC just told her to go. Yes, because within KBS's mind, KBS already knew that very soon all these things will end because they've already started the preparation for the set free. And once they're set free, nothing consigned. And also, that's a uh, lower quarters they say they're going to sell. So KBS knows that their days are numbered. So he doesn't really want to do much about them. Drop your comments. Do you think KBS should punish her? Or do you think KBC should just leave her till because since the set free festival is closed? So please drop your comments on the comment section. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget that all these are alleged information. Please stay on the line. I'll be giving you more updates. Thank you.